Hey guys and welcome back for the 31 days of Halloween. As you can see, we're kicking it off with Annabelle. You see how we created her? Make sure you stay tuned. We're going to go in and start with Marwan's Cream Makeup, which is a water based cream makeup it is highly pigmented and blendable you don't need to add anything to use it you can put it on with brushes sponges or anything of that sort you can mix this with any colors to create any color that you want you just put it on your face and let it dry um or you can blend it with other colors while it's still wet as well super great super pigmented um and these are great when you're on the go and don't have water or access to any of that kind of stuff the palettes you need water to activate them so i got a bunch of these colors for when i'm doing clients and stuff like that um it's also great um to keep everything clean for clients and stuff like that so we'll be using a few of these today and throughout the season just to see how they work it's my first time using them and i really love them easy to use super quick super pigmented um can't complain as i was going on and putting on um the white base i really wasn't worried about the consistency or if there's any shrieking and stuff like that i was going for a mask for the Annabelle doll we all know how dirty and rugged um the animal doll got throughout filming and whatnot in both movies so just keep that in mind when we're doing that we're really going to beat this up a little bit later with some eyeshadow and stuff like that so don't think it has to be perfection unless that's what you are striving for This is the Mehron Body Paint Water Activated Palette. It's got all the basic colors that you need. And we're going to use this palette to go in and do all the detailed work that we're going to need. Anything for eyes, brows, mouth, and creases on the face for the doll. The brush I'm using for a lot of my detail is from Royal and Lane Nickel, or with a lot of my trusty brushes. We're going to use the James Charles Unleash an Artist Palette for all of our shadow and shading that we're going to be doing today. Um, we're going to use a lot of the same shadows that we're going to need any of the browns or some of the deeper browns and a black shadow as we go in for the creases just to map them out what you see me doing here this is a chisel brush brush I believe from crown brush or a morphe brush I'm just putting the lines in very crisp and clean and we'll blend them and then detail the brushes later with some um, body paints and then some highlights Make sure to have a picture of Annabelle nearby so you can reference it for all the markings on her face. I really had to keep going back in and referencing it so that I had everything correct. And make sure to take your time. Everything about Annabelle's face comes down to these creases around her mouth. That creepy little smile and the shading around her eyes. Key, key, key. If you don't get the coloring right, that's fine. She had a, uh, a time where her face was almost like a gray color. That's fine too. But all these creases, the highlights, the low lights and everything are so key on this doll. Take your time. Do it cream, clean and crisp. That is key. The eyes were, really weren't too hard, you just want to make the inner corner of your socket the darkest area. And then as you blend out towards the outer corners of the socket, you just want to lighten that up a little bit. I just went from the lightest brown in there into the darkest until we get black shade. And then we're going to use the body paints to clean those lines up even more because she's a doll. She's plastic and you need those clean lines. That's just how it looks. And once I put those lines in, it really, really made it all pop. And come to life just the way I wanted it to. Back in with that chisel brush, 
just to make those glands real crisp and clean with the darker shadow available and then we'll do body paints later when we do the final touches on the look which is the last step with everything on the face. I'm just going in with another brush that's a smidge bigger just to help give some more definition and three dimension to these details around the mouth for the Annabelle doll. We'll keep going to a bigger brush and a lighter shade time and time again just to help add dimension around this to give it a better shape so it doesn't look so flat. Also keep in mind with the body paint on our face, we don't want to rub too hard because you will rub it off and it'll show your skin through and you'll think it's like a pinky peach color. It's really just your skin coming through so be careful, be gentle when rubbing the shadows on, especially when you have these really firm brushes. The fluffy ones are pretty okay, the firm ones are a little bit different. You'll see it a little bit more when I get to the nose detail that I need to do, but I definitely had a little bit of trouble and I forgot that I have the body paint on. It's a little bit different than what I'm used to. But we're getting back on the groove, right? Again, keep in mind, going back to the Annabelle picture that you have to reference, keep referencing the shadows as well. That's going to help remind you where to add the shadows. It's going to help with the dimension as she's smiling. Because remember, most of her pictures, she's got that creepy smile. And you need to be able to create those perfect shadows to get you the look that you're trying to achieve. Here we are with one of our bigger fluffier brushes just adding more of that dimension but making sure we really really blend it out and then we'll go through this and just dirty up the mask a little bit while we're doing it later on so we can see all the dimension, the dirtiness, and the real effect of Annabelle coming to life. Here we are doing the mask details just like I told you. Not too much swirling motion, but a lot of padding, a little bit of light brushing, not too much shadow on your brush. I always tapped it in this into the eyeshadow palette and then I would tap any excess off so we didn't have any weird big splotches. Then I'm using eyeshadows from that palette and making blush as I, as Annabelle had on her face. I didn't go get any special blushes for this. I used eyeshadow straight out of the palette, used blush brush, and patted it on until it was super pigmented the way that I wanted it. Here we are using Suva Beauty's Hydra Liner in Space Panda. What I'm going to do is go through and I'm going to add all the highlights to the face as I had in my Annabelle reference photo. Going through, adding these very slowly. This is a water activated um, liner. So I put a little bit of water in there, got it to the consistency I wanted it, depending on how much water you added or did not add. Um, but you need a little bit. And then I just painted on where the photo for reference for me to paint it. To give it that three-dimensional look to help it pop. So I'm adding the highlight and then later we're going to go in and use the black body paint to add all those crisp dark lines that we're going to need. Here we are using Huda Beauty's Demi Matte in Boy Collector. This is the perfect red for the Annabelle doll, except for it's not a matte, it is a semi-gloss, which is great. I thought it was perfect for the doll. We needed that kind of pop and shine to it, so I thought it was really perfect, really great. It worked. Here 
I did not realize how all over the place this is. I'm so sorry. We're going in with doing the nose detail right now. Adding some of that white pot, um, silver beauty liner just to map out where we're going to do it. And then I'm just adding the shadows around the nostrils and the tip of the nose so we can transform it into the Annabelle nose that we want it to be. Watch here how I kind of lose some of that white. And we got to go in and really make sure the shadows pop around it because you could see my skin through it. Good thing for shadow. And then it was a dark shade that it could cover it up. As you can tell, I added the black. It must not have recorded, but the black liner is in there on all the detailed. We just did a thin black line where it all started. And now we're going to do a black line right around the face. This is out of the Mayron Basics uh, water, active body, water Activated Body Paints. Now we're just going around the mask to give it a nice crisp, clean edge. And then we're going to add some detailing because this movie is a little dated. It's nothing. Um, recent so we and I like a little bit of this little like Victorian detailed lacy vibe so I went through around the edges and did some stuff and then I had a little choker the end <laughs> So here is the finished look for the Annabelle Mask Doll. I hope you guys love it and enjoyed it. If you have any questions, make sure to feel free to leave a comment in the box below. And I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye!